Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm out here in New York State at this pond. And when you first look at a pond like this, people say, oh, look at all that algae on the surface. Well, it's not algae at all. It's actually duckweed and an even smaller plant than duckweed called wolfia or water meal. And it's got the smallest flower in the world on it. So let's check this out. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. And here's the make this invasive. There's a top. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's... Let's take a look, closer look. And you can see that these aren't filaments. They're tiny, what look like little leaves. So here's some algae from another pond. And you can see that this is very filamentous. It looks like fine, fine green hairs. And so algae is not a flowering plant. It's a microscopic, single-celled plant that grows, in this case, in long filaments. So here in this pond are two of the smallest flowering plants in the world. Both of these plants are in the duckweed family, which is called Lemnaceae. Lemnaceae. These species occur worldwide, and there's 38 species of duckweeds in the world. And these duckweeds, collectively, are among the smallest flowering plants in the entire world. There is one genus that's in this pond that's whose common name is duckweed. And the other genus is wolfia. So the duckweed in this pond is called lemna, and the other plant is called wolfia. And wolfia is known as water meal because it resembles cornmeal floating on the surface. So these two species often occur together. And so this pond contains duckweed and water meal. Both are true flowering plants. They're often mistaken for filamentous algae as a distance. And again, in this close-up, you can see the difference between the small leaflets and the filaments of a true algae. Algae is not a flowering plant. It's a microscopic, single-celled plant that is visible when it occurs in great numbers. Both of these plants in this pond, the water meal and the duckweed, both consist of a leaf-like structure that float because of the air pockets in between the cells. The duckweed has a single root, which you can see here on the tip of my finger. It's very small. And water meal has no root at all. They just have a green leaf-like structure that floats on the surface. So true flowering plants are the largest and most diverse group of plants in the plant kingdom. And they're called the angiosperms. All flowering plants have a characteristic in that they produce flowers. And the flowers come in a great variety of forms and functions and colors with various mechanisms and strategies of pollination and using colors and scents and different insects and it's really a fascinating thing just to study flowers and their associations with other organisms. All flowers contain either a female part or a male part and some flowers have both parts in the same flower and the female parts are called pistils and the male parts are called stamens and they'll occur in varying numbers um, in different flowers and different species. Both duckweed and water meal will produce flowers, although they're, they're very rare and I didn't observe them today. So if you came to this video to see a, the smallest flower in the world, I'm not able to actually show you that flower. I'm able, however, to show you the smallest plant in the world that produces that flower. These organisms usually reproduce vegetatively by budding. 
In fact, their growth is exponential. So budding is considered vegetative reproduction. When pollen from one plant lands on the pistil of another plant and they unite to form eventually a seed, that's called sexual reproduction. Most of these plants reproduce by non-sexual reproduction vegetatively by producing a bud. And you can see a bud here in this close-up. The main part of the plant is usually called the mother frond, and the bud that's coming off is called the daughter frond, or a thallus. So they are able to reproduce, actually double their population every day, because each plant, each individual leaf or mother frond, is capable of doubling once a day in midsummer. So in the genus Wolfia, there is 11 species overall. In Wolfia, this plant we call water meal, this little tiny grain here with the arrow pointing at it, is the undisputed smallest flowering plant in the world. And it has the smallest flower. So when it flowers, and again, I apologize, I don't have a picture of it for you, but I really hope to get a microscope and maybe get lucky and be able to see it, because it happens rarely and are likely to happen in, in midsummer in a pond where conditions are just right. So the flower is represented by my drawing here, and there's a floral cavity or kind of a, a dip in the center of the surface of the plant frond and it contains a single stamen and a single pistil. And so that represents the greatest reduction of a flower that still makes it a flower. How small is it? Well, it's hard to describe. You can look at the water meal on the tip of my finger in this picture and count how many fingerprint ridges wide is it. Or we can compare it to, let's say, three grains of salt. So one water meal plant, the smallest true flowering plant in the world, would be the equivalent width of three grains of salt. A single plant can slip through the eye of a needle. You can put 12 individual flowers on the head of a pen. So I hope that gives you some uh, perspective on exactly how small this is. Microscopic flower occurs on top of that leaf-like body, with one pistil and one stamen. So the smallest flower in the world, what is it going to produce? It's going to produce the smallest fruit in the world, isn't it? So the smallest fruit in the world is called a utricle, and the utricle is a fruit with one single seed in it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Nature at Your Door, highlighting the smallest flower in the world or the smallest plant in the world that is likely in a pond near you. These things occur worldwide and duckweed is likely to be in a pond close to your house. You're likely to find water meal there. Between the two of them, you've got the smallest flowering plants in the world and you probably didn't know it. If you like what I do on these episodes, please subscribe, give me a like. I love hearing from my viewers. Send me a comment. What have you found? What have you seen? I love to know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door.